welcome back to another Bath & Body Works soap review. Today we're doing the Blueberry Lemonade one, which they re-released in so many different packagings, but this is the one I have. It's very soft and dainty and delicate, and basically I love it with the little hummingbirds and stuff on it. It's so freaking cute, I had to have this version of it. So, it's one of the gentle foaming hand soaps, duh. And the fragrance notes here are sugared lemonade, blueberries, and crushed ice. And I got this one, it was $7.50. I heard they recently upped the price to like $9.50 in some of the test stores. I hope that fails because that is some bullshit if they're raising the prices by two whole dollars per soap bottle. But um, I guess only time will tell what will happen with that. But this one, $7.50. So it's interesting with this one. When you first pump it out and you're washing your hands with it, it very much smells like freshly poured lemonade. And if you like bring it up to your nose, yeah, you can smell something kind of berry-ish in it. Um, and I feel like the berry takes over more as it dries down, but you don't smell it a lot while it's actively in use. However, that berry part, I don't know that I would call it blueberry. Only way I would say maybe, maybe a candied blueberry, but not like a real-life blueberry. Um, honestly, to me, it smells more like blue raspberry, but that's just my opinion on what I think it smells like. Um, and then crushed ice, I'm like, that's a nothing scent note. You just needed a third one to pan it out, or to pat it out. Crushed ice is nothing. That. Why would you even put that there? Like, <laughs> You're not making a snow cone scent. That was not necessary. Why did you put that there? Sometimes with their like nothing sounding scent notes, they turn out to be a thing and you get to know what that scent is as you see it pop up in different fragrances of theirs and you, you figure out what they're talking about. But this one I'm like, no, that's like literally a nothing scent note. That is not a thing that's here. You just needed a third word. So that's kind of, I don't know, shifty. I do like the watercolor aesthetic on this too. I just noticed that it's watercolor. I'm like, oh, but still my heart. Another reason I had to have this version. <laughs> but um, I don't know. The the scent fade down is very, very quick on this one to like almost nothing. And it's not very strong even while you're actively using it. So I feel like if one or the other of those things were improved upon, not both because I could I feel like it could become obnoxious very quickly if it were both like overpowered and overstaying a welcome but if it were just like strong while you're using it but dries down quickly or it's not that strong while you're using it but the scent lingers for like hours after either one of those two would be good um but unfortunately it has neither so for that I will dock a point but I otherwise really like this one surprisingly so I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Um, I was really worried that it would be like sickeningly sweet, which it's not. I really didn't know how to expect this one to be. So I'm very glad to report that it's not. It's just very pleasant. But it is heavier on the lemonade side of the line than the blueberry side of the line, or blue raspberry, whatever that berry note may be in there. But I mean, it is a nice scent. So anyway, I recommend it. But anywho, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.